Hi guys, welcome. This is Suraj for teach to code Today I will show you how to send email using PHP. So it's quite a bit easy. First of all, you need a good code editor. Then you need an online hosting for sending mail. Otherwise, you can use SMBT, Google SMBT. I will show you how to do that. First, I will show you in the right way. Okay, for that, I have to open my code editor over here. Then I should have to write the basic uh, HTML tags. So I will give the title PHP mail. First of all, I will use a framework called Bootstrap for some styling. So I will link that thing rel equal to style sheet and we have to give the path so I will give is in my CSS folder CSS bootstrap main dot CSS okay that's it and I link the style sheet next we have to create our form for user interaction before that I will declare a div called container for justifying our div class it's a bootstrap class div class container uh, div class container it will send or align your whatever in the div so next i have to declare form so form action equal to nil if you want to create an external file like mail.php and you can give the mail php code over there and then you can use mail.php over here and when you submit it will process mail.php but I'm not going to uh, connect to that external file I will use the in document method so PHP will post itself from the inline document okay form action equal to itself then the method will be we are using post method because we are posting so method equal to post then we have to create our text boxes first first I will create text box for entering your name so I will give name input type equal to text and I will use a class a bootstrap class called form control and we have to give a name for the identification purpose so I will give name as name you can give any name over here that's it then you have to give any field you can give any field over here I will use subject and I will copy this one okay name subject and it will be input type is equal to text and here I will change that to subject next we will need a a text area for messaging so i will use text area method so i will use text area name equal to message and then you can give the calls how many columns that you want calls i will give calls 40 and you can give the rows over here I will give the rows as 6 if you like you can give the placeholder method and then there is an input validation that is if it is required then you can give us required okay and these all fields are required so I will give required okay our form is pretty much over and uh, then we have to create an submit button so i will give input type equal to submit and the name will also be submit okay then the class will be btn btn i will give success okay our form designing is over if i look into my design it will give like this we have created our form over here you can give this your message below the text box so i will show you how to do that so after text you can give a 
line break over here or you can give the line break over here your message and it you can see and well arranged uh, form over here a beautiful well arranged submitting form then we will create our php for sending mail i will declare my php tag over here for defining php code in between them i will write my php initially we will use an eset method for checking whether the value is set or not so i will use eset then we are using post so i will use dollar underscore post then we have to give the name of the component that we are using for submitting because we are looking for whether the submit button is press or not or set or not so we will use our submit buttons name as here it will check whether the submit button is set or not that means if you click the value or the value is posted then we have to give whatever function that will happen after submitting so here is the main part i will declare variable call from from dollar underscore post dollar underscore post so we have to get the value from whatever thing that we are posting so first of all from name we should get from here name so i will give name then we have to define the to mail we have to send the mail to someone so the to mail will be ours so i will give to mail to so that will be teach codes at gmail.com this will be my to address so whenever the client submitting the mail it will directly come to my mail okay teach to codes at gmail.com that's it and then you have to get the subject so i will use dollar subject post subject then we have to get the value from our message so i will declare another variable called message and then i will use the post method over here door underscore post and that name will be message here message then we will use php mail function for sending mail so i will declare another variable called return value so you can use any variable and i will type mail function then it will accept some parameters so i will give two first then i will give the subject if you have any doubt you can refer the mail function in the php manual okay that's it and then we have to write a condition whether the mail is sent or not so i will use if value is success or it is done perfectly then we have to show on to the user so i will use echo i will use a javascript method for an alert message then we can give the else method if the message is not sent message not sent okay our mail sending code is over now it will work i think but it will not work in the local host for that you have to configure your smbt settings so i will not i will show you how to do that but before that i will uh, up these files in my online host and uh, if you are in online host then it will automatically configure your smbt so i will now trying to send suraj subject test your message hi if i click submit then i will get an error message your send here you can see some warning message over here you can configure the send mail in your uh, local host also but i am not going to show you that and then otherwise you can use google smbt server for sending mail from the local host now i will 
up these files in my online host here is my domain teach2code.com and I will copy the mail from here and I will paste over here then we will go to my domain mail and it will show PHP mail over here and it is opening name my name is Suraj next name and the subject will be test and if I submit this you can see message sent okay and if I take my inbox over here then I can see Suraj and SMS mail hi okay that means we have successfully sent our message to PHP now this is a method of correct way of sending mail if you want to use Google SMBT server then you can use that thing so for that we have to use a another PHP package called PHP mailer for that you can download that PHP mailer from here PHP mailer dot box from this URL and you can download the correct PHP version from here so after downloading that you can I will show you first in your PHP file you have to define these things define your user you your gmail.com your gmail id then you have to define the password gmail password okay before that package file that is php mailers class dot php mailer dot php so you have to require this this file after that you have you can define your gmail user so it will automatically call your call the php mailer class functionalities over here then you can use a function called smpt mailer as we see in, in as we saw in our php mail sending to from from name subject body and you can use a validation error mail equal to new php mailer we will inherit the class then you can define the SM, SM mail host that is smbt.gmail.com and the port 465 then username your username then password your password you can give you the password okay that we are defined over here then total mail set from can give all these stuffs and it will send your mail from your local host through gmail smbt server okay you can give your smbt server also smbt details over here and it will send the mail through your smbt server in your local host itself so this method can be applied according to your wish so uh, so this is the method to send mail through php thank you for watching